And Moses says, I'm going to the, to the sons of Israel. And they say, and I will say, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they will say, what's his name? And what shall I say? Well, I'm beyond naming. To have someone's name is to have a certain amount of power over them. If you're in a room full of people and you hear somebody say, Chris, suddenly your ears go, huh? You hear it. Uh, the, the ability to have a name is the ability to draw someone's attention real fast. It gives a certain amount of power or command over them or the ability to contact them in a strong way. Okay, and <clears throat> what God is initially going to say is, God says to Moses, I am who I am. You say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Echye, I share, echye. You say to them, Echye has sent you, me to you. Now that's part of the word Yahweh, but it's by itself here and what it means. I am the ultimate philosophical being that bees. No, probably not, but that's the usual kind of a way. Powerful active presence. Actually, uh, it will be explained, this name, and what it means is I'm the God who's consistent. I'm consistent. And it will be explained to your forefathers, I was El Shaddai. Now I am the consistent God. Okay, I'm consistent. I think that's a good word uh, that makes it kind of practical in people's minds. The one who is consistent, the one who is faithful, has sent Moses to you. Thus you say to the sons of Israel, Yahweh, God of your fathers, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob, uh, has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is my memorial name to all generations. Memorial name, Yahweh. Okay? When you say this word, God says, oh, okay. He, his, his attention is arrested because it's a memorial. Like any other memorial that's done before God, it calls his attention. All right? So when you use this name, God listens, all right, uh, for you. Now for, for Melchizedek, it was Elyon, God Most High. But for you, for Israelites, for those who are from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, now the special name you use for memorializing is Yahweh. What name do we use? Jesus. So let me just step aside from this for a minute. <clears throat> In our circles, we are used to reading the Old Testament and saying Yahweh or Yahweh. All right? If, if you use a modern uh, letter uh, Vav, you say Yahweh. If you use the ancient pronunciation Wow, you say Yahweh. <laughs> it's a W sound from everything we can tell. So take your choice. Yahweh. Um, but although when we read the Psalms here and when we sing the Psalms, we use the word Yahweh, don't be doing that in your prayers in the liturgy. Okay, don't say in Yahweh's name. When you compose your own collects or read, don't use that name. It's Jesus is the name we use. And there's, you know, there's discussions here. When we sing the Psalms in Christian worship, should we sing Yahweh or should we sing the Lord? Uh, I'm still kind of on the Yahweh side of that. I'm in, definitely in favor of reading Yahweh when we read the text, but don't slip over into using the name Yahweh in your prayers. That's not the name we use. Uh, it's the same person, but I'm just saying. Uh, our memorial name is Jesus the Messiah. 